Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, The Beginnings of Science. Last episode, we were out at Minmus collecting more sweet science. And I was just looking on here and I noticed that none of the planets are really lined up for a good transfer yet. So, I think today we will visit Mun. And we will take and use the Mun Science Lander, Mark II. You might also notice that I have Kerbal Alarm Clock installed. And that is for when we start doing our multiple missions. Let's get that back in free mode. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that that way we don't have to worry about any problems. Okay, let's see here. Go ahead and we'll EVA Bob out. Let go. We have, we now have Bob placed into the lander can, and just so he can see, that's what he's seeing out his window right now. Uh, we're at the Highlands. I just want to check the map mode real quick. And let's see here. What do we have? Just go ahead and Okay, keep, 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 keep. Okay, that's got to be on this craft. Well, I'll transmit that. For another whopping 24 bits of science. And we're just going to look for a good spot to land. Right now at the Midlands. Actually, let's go ahead and slow down for just a second, because the polar flat should be coming up. Well, let's go ahead and just, oops, not observe. We will decouple the node. Turn on our RCS. What I want to do is I want to I want to try to get ourselves a little bit further away from the craft this time. Turn off our CS. Okay. Operational. Just want to make sure that we are operational on all torque. Yeah. 
And we can go ahead and get ready for a landing. Just got to find a good spot to land. Just got to find something. There we go. Polar Lowlands. Okay, hopefully that put us over the polar lowlands. We're high enough up now that we shouldn't have a repeat of last time we landed on Mun. Get ready to stop our <coughs> our drop a little bit. Hopefully we are over something useful. Let's go ahead and just give ourselves a little acceleration. This is going to be a really weird landing. Looks like we're going to be on top of a hill. Let's see. Log of temperature, we don't need it. Okay. Wow, oh, Kerbin's so much bigger this, when we're this close.
Let's go ahead and burn ourselves down to under, hopefully under 100 meters per second. Switch to surface mode. And we'll just line ourselves up this way. Oh, this is a very rocky surface. Let's do this. Start slowing ourselves down even more. And hopefully, Probably should start working on slowing ourselves down. Just curbing into the background. This is going to be a rough area to land in. Oh boy. Okay, well, what do we have for science? Gravity scan, materials bay. We'll keep all that. How about a crew report? Nope. So we'll go ahead and VA out. Oh my God, 
Okay, we don't need that. Collect the data. Collect the data. And collect the data. And one more time. Okay, now well, this is going to be fun. There we go. Well, we're back upright. <laughs> Lost a solar panel, though. Lost a solar panel. Not a good thing. Oh, but I think that is going to do it for this episode. <laughs> a unfortunate chain of events. But at least one other thing I can do. ZVA all the way to the ground because... Now one thing I was thinking for the Better Than Man series that I want to do is that I want to do when the Kerbal dies, the Kerbal dies. I'm surprised I don't need a, a radiation sample, or a radiation sample, an EVA report. Okay, North Pole was a bad idea. Actually, this was a bad idea. So yeah, when I do the Better Demand series, the Kerbals that die will stay dead. But I'll still reserve the right to do uh, quick saves. But in the event they die, they do die. They will be staying dead. Collect the data. There we go. So hopefully you've enjoyed the episode of me failing. And by failing, by blowing up some of my ship. And if you liked the episode, hit that like button. Favorite and subscribe, of course, as always. And if you want to see other episodes of other videos or at the end of the video, be an annotation. And until next time, have fun.